So the first thing I just want to say is that you guys, you are literally the biggest, best detectives ever. Like you guys sit there, you guys analyze every millisecond of the video I posted, every pixel, and you guys sat there and analyzed the whole entire video and just wanted to ruin like my whole entire plan. Yo, like why do you guys do this to me? For a real quick recap, what is happening is I posted a video like two days ago um, and I dragged it out for two days to make it seem real towards Trisha that someone stole her car, literally her car that had her wallet in it with her social security card, her um, credit cards and a picture of her grandpa that means literally the world. Like it means the most to her. So in the video I posted, I told her that, you know, someone stole her car. Um, I did a police report and like, Literally, it's just her breaking down, like being so frustrated that like someone stole her car and I told her that it was like, it was basically like my fault that I left the doors unlocked and stuff like that. You know, it really got to her and she really broke down. She was like crying and I really felt so bad. But like, this is the thing with the prank wars, okay? Like I try to make the most epic pranks. So like, this is what like, you know, happens. This is what Team Cam does. Like we try to make it look the most realistic towards you know trisha some of you guys try to like to like mess up my plans and comment down in the comment section like it's a prank it's a prank thank the lord that trisha did not suspect anything right now she's inside on the phone with one of the banks still trying to get her like cards and like line trying to reopen some of her cards and stuff like that which i literally feel so bad for her honestly like the fact i put her in that position but like it's all gonna play out guys like Trust me, it is all worth it and you guys will see what I'm talking about. But today, I want to call her in here and tell her that the whole entire thing is a prank. Because I've been dragging it out for two days. Literally two days, guys. I've been dragging out this whole entire prank just to make it seem like it's real. Now, I'm not going to lie. Trisha has really not been like her usual self because I did this on her. I don't know. I feel like I'd react the same way. Like, just be super mad that my car got stolen just because my significant other left the doors unlocked and like did something so not smart. I'm gonna call her in. I'm gonna tell her that <laughs> her car has been here in our apartment complex the whole entire time. And basically I literally just hit her car because <laughs> we have like multiple buildings here where I could park the car like way far out somewhere else. Um, We've been taking Ubers for two days and <laughs> it's time to tell her that her car has been here the whole entire time. Babe. Come here. Come on, let's the bank. Hurry, come here. Come on, let's the bank. Quick. I got some important news. What? Come here. Come on. Why are you recording? Huh? Did they find the car? Just sit down. I got some important news. Did they find the car? Ah. Here. Please don't tell me you were pranking me. <sighs> About Please that. don't tell me you were pranking me, Cameron. About that. Um, so, I came to realization that I took it way too far oh with pranking God. you. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Listen, listen. Hold Are you me. kidding me? Can I tell you? Like, the, what else is there to say? You were pranking me this whole time. Say yes or no. Yes. So listen, I thought that this would be a crazy savage prank to do on you. Um, I thought it would be very epic, very funny, but uh, I don't know. How could you think it would be funny when you've carried it out for multiple days? How could you think it would be funny when you've seen me stressing out like crazy? Well, this is why, like, I'm telling you it's a prank, babe, like... You waited, like, three days to do so. Two or three days to do so, babe. Two Come days. on. I, I thought that it looked more and it would feel more real, like... Yeah, it's felt hella real. I've had to call all my credit card companies. I totally understand. And I issued myself a new license, babe. I know, and I feel really bad. That's why I'm like... I'm trying to figure out like how I can make it up to you. And I, I want to start with telling you that it's been a prank. Like, 
This whole entire thing has been a prank. I had your car hidden on the other oh side of the community. Oh, my God. Listen, babe, I, I'm sorry. I had your car hidden on the other side of the community. I had your parents in it. So, like, they, they, I told them, like, look, I'm doing this. Don't say nothing to Trisha. Um, how, how could you think that carrying this out for multiple days was a good idea? You've seen how stressed out I've been, babe. Well, listen, I thought it would just be a savage prank. But how could it be a savage prank when you've seen how much, like, sh I've gone through? It is savage, then. But, like, that's not the point. That's not you the point. You saw how upset I was, though, over my grandpa's picture. Like, how could you let it carry out that far? I literally Ubered to the nail salon today. How, I know. Like, how, how, realistically, how could you let it get that far? I wanted to make it seem, like, just realistic and, like, I wanted it to be like the most savage prank I've ever done. So like But so you don't think that this is a little too far? You don't think that like you should have said it to I do, I do, and this is why I'm like I'm trying to figure out like how I can make it up to you and I wanna start by telling you that it's a prank, babe. I'm sorry. I'm literally on the phone with or I was on the phone with the I last know. credit card okay. company. Okay. I issued myself okay. a new license. You're saying okay, but like you didn't take this all into consideration. I did. Babe. And this is why I'm trying to move past it. I want to let you know here now that it's a prank. I'm sorry. I know I took it way too far. I'm admitting it to it. I'm admitting to it. I'm sorry about everything. And like how you're feeling about your the 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 photo being stolen by I literally um, thought my identity was about to be stolen. You realize this, right? I thought that my first big purchase or asset was stolen from me because of you. I thought that it was stolen because of you. Like as your as your girlfriend, how do you think I should be feeling right now? This pissed. isn't just this is I isn't, think you should be feeling pissed. Yes. Yeah. I'm yeah, very I'm okay. frustrated. I'm upset. I know. I'm annoyed. Okay. I like and I hate to be like ranting on you right now, but you literally, you put me through a lot these past couple days. I understand it. I just want to move forward and figure out like what I could do to make it up to you. You, you did a lot. You did way too much. You did way too much. And like, you know how much I hate being upset with you, but this put like a lot of stress on me. And it's not just one of those like, pranks where I can sit there and just like be like oh it was a prank let me you know cool down for five minutes like this was a lot of work and it's really upsetting it really is I'm very okay. upset right now okay I'm very upset I okay. really thought that that picture like the credit cards and stuff that made me like annoyed like it was just frustrating and tedious to do but I literally thought that picture of my grandpa was gone that was so upsetting. Right, okay, man. Like it's I, a prank. I think I just need a minute. Can you give me a hug? I really, I really, I just need a minute. Can you give me a hug? No, not right now. Where are you going? I, I need to just cool off. Where are you going? I need to cool off. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she just sat there and just just went off at me like um i feel like i didn't even I, I couldn't even say anything um i mean even knowing that it was my fault for everything and everything but i'm really 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 um upset that you know that i really actually even took it this far towards her and that now her emotions coming out and I don't like, I don't ever like when, you know, my girl is in a, in a bad mood. Um, but I'm going to find a way to make it up to her. And I'm going to make things right. So I got to start somewhere, somehow. And I'm going to start today. So make sure you guys stay tuned because I'm going to, I got to find some way to make her happy. And I think, I think I know what is going to make her happy. But we'll see. So I'll see you guys later.